Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Shaman's Kitchen. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. As you know, I have part two of Jessica's birthday dinner and cake. So please join me in the kitchen and see what I am preparing for the dinner and the rest of the birthday celebration. So here is my preparation for tonight's dinner. I have all my ingredients ready here. And then I'm just gonna show how I'm putting everything together. I have all of my ingredients from dried to fresh ingredients. First of all, my husband is not a big fan of shellfish and crabs and shrimp and things like that. I'm gonna prepare a piece of gray snapper with some vegetable for him. So first of all, I'm gonna add some black pepper on the fish. And this is a piece of gray snapper that I brought back from Guyana. I'm gonna add the same ingredients to the vegetable. We're gonna go in there with a little bit of salt on the vegetable as well. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper because this is seafood, the lemon pepper always bring out a beautiful flavor, gives that nice lemon flavor. I'm gonna add some on the vegetable. And you know what I think you're gonna like in this dish? How about some red onions? They will be nice. So I'm gonna add some red onions in there as well. Green seasoning is going in. And I'm gonna flip this over, do the same on the other side and chop up some red onion and then I'll show you guys how I'm preparing this. So now I am rubbing in all that good nice beautiful ingredients in the weather is nice today i don't know if you guys can hear a beautiful sound you hear that of the bird outside i have my back door open and this is how i'm gonna prepare this i'm gonna go in with my hands and just mix up that flavor into the vegetable and this is what i'm gonna do for this I'm going to put the fish on this parchment paper and like you see here, I cut little slits on this fish. We're going to make sure that we flavor it up nicely. This is going to be one flavorful fish. Let me put it this way. And we're going to go in here with all that vegetable and cook that inside here with the fish. So this is a whole meal on its own well flavored meal so i'm slicing one large potato thinly like this i'm gonna just rub it into all that flavor we had in the pan over here just like that and then we're gonna add it here skin and everything the red potato is very good and it cooks very quickly and flavorful and this is what this look like. Check this out. Beautiful. And this is going in my 350 degree oven, about 30 minutes, and this is gonna be ready. So this is what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold this over here, nicely like that, like a gift, a nice little present, and then I will put this into the oven I add a lot of veggies but that's gonna make it very very nice and delicious I'm gonna just rest this open spot let me see here or I can fold this in here and I'm gonna put this into the oven and we will come back when it's done so next we're gonna start with a seafood boil and I have some coconut milk here that my husband blended for me I'm gonna add it into the pot so the next thing we're gonna go in with is our crab in here. And I'm cooking Guyana crab. The crab is gonna take a little bit longer to cook, so I'm adding that first. We're making a seafood boil because this is something I know that Jessica will enjoy as well. So I'm gonna go in with my potatoes at this point as well. I'm using red potatoes and I already wash these nicely and scrub them before I'm adding them to the pot. So 
So I'm gonna go in and add some thyme. Give it a nice thyme flavor. We're gonna go in and add some salt. We're adding our black pepper here. So we're going in with Cajun seasoning. And I'm gonna leave all the measurement that I'm using today in the description box below. We're gonna add some paprika, and this is gonna add some heat and color, which will give us that nice, beautiful seafood broil color. Look at that, already changed the color, right? So we're going in with some lemon pepper, which is very good for seafood. And we're gonna give it a mix now. So we're adding flavor all the time. In the meantime, the potatoes and the crab is cooking. We're going in with our lobster halfway and then the shrimp and corn and spinach will go in right down to the end. I want to add some fresh ingredients in there. So we have here some onions, green onions and hot pepper. We're gonna give this a mix. It's smelling good, it's looking good. I'm gonna cover it now and leave this to cook together before we go in and add the next ingredient. So our seafood is looking nice. Come on in guys, let's see what we have here. I want this color to change to a nice vibrant Color. So I'm going to add some Sazon and this is going to add flavor as well. Look at that. The color is changing already. So we're going to mix this and as you can see the color just changed. I want the crab to cook some more. And for those potatoes to cook up a little. Let's leave it and come back in about 5 minutes. So while our seafood is cooking. We're going to season our shrimp for the pasta, some black pepper. We're going to add salt in here, paprika, lemon pepper, and we're going to mix this and fry it up just to about two to three minutes. The shrimp has already been cooking for about a minute and a half. I'm going to give it about half more minute and then remove them from the pan. So my seafood boil is coming along nicely. This is the time I'm going to add my lobster in here. The potatoes and crabs are nicely cooked. I'm going in with my lobster now. Next, I'm going in with my corn and this is going to add sweetness and nice flavor to the seafood boil. It looks like I have enough for the entire YouTube family. So all are invited. So I'm going to go in and add my shrimp. And everything is coming to the end here now. I'm gonna go in now and add my spinach because everything is coming to the end. Stem and everything. And I'm gonna let it cook up for about five minutes more. And then we will be serving it up soon. My kids really, really enjoy this. I make it once or twice every year, mostly in the summertime or when it's Jessie's birthday. This is something that she really enjoys. I'm garnishing now with some cilantro and this is ready. So in the sauce that I cooked the shrimp, I just added some onions. I'm making a sauce to add our pasta in. I'm adding some spicy tomato and Parmesan sauce, about a cup of that in here. And then I'm gonna go in with some spinach and cheese sauce about a cup of that as well I'm adding in my pasta now I'm adding some cilantro in here I'm flavoring up the sauce a little bit more and then I'm gonna give it a mix the sauce is spicy because I add a spicy one and there's some cheese in there too so 
It's gonna be extra nice and rich. I'm gonna go in with some spinach. You guys know I love to add vegetable to my dishes. So I'm gonna add some spinach in here. I have some baby spinach already washed and this is gonna wilt down, but it's gonna look beautiful in our pasta. I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano into my sauce. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm making my own garlic butter for some garlic bread. I have my softened butter, a nice clove of garlic. I'm just gonna grate it on top like that. So now I'm gonna add some dried oregano. If you have dried Italian seasoning, that will work amazing in here, but today I don't have any, so I'm adding what I have. So I'm gonna mix it up now that my butter is softened, the garlic and the oregano. So now I'm gonna take my baguettes and nicely butter these up, just like that. You don't always have to buy garlic bread, you can make your own. So this is going into the oven just so the butter can melt and we will be serving up soon. So I'm adding some green onions in here as well. This is gonna give that extra nice bite at the end. Check out these nice big leaf of basil. I'm gonna finely chop these and these are gonna go as garnish. They taste so nice with pasta dishes and it smells amazing. So our pasta is done from the water. It's going into the pan. Let me turn this off. Into the pan, the pasta goes. So time to mix up all that goodness now. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go in back with my shrimp now. And we're gonna mix it in. So shrimp is mixing in here and you guys can see how juicy and nice and delicious look. And my beautiful pasta is looking inviting. I'm gonna plate up right now and call the kids down to have their dinner. So this is our seafood dinner. Our seafood boil is smelling so good. How does it smell, Jess? It smells really good. You can't wait to dig in, right? Yeah. But because it's messy, I'm letting you guys have your pasta and shrimp first. Let me know what you guys think. How does it look? Did I cook like a chef today? Yeah, it looks like... Well, I have my cheese to grate. We have homemade sorrel and everybody have their pasta in front of them we have our garlic bread and this is the fish that i made for hobby this is the gray snapper that i baked and we have the potato and all the rest of vegetable but i convinced hobby to have some pasta with us so i'm gonna wrap this up here i don't know if he's gonna touch this tonight and then i'm gonna grate cheese on the pasta and we're gonna dig in so cheese time jess tell me when to stop because I know you love cheese in your pasta. Okay, you can stop now. Look at that. Amazing looking. Five star restaurant. Thank you. So Jesse, let me know what you think about your shrimp pasta that you requested. Go ahead and dig in. Cheers. Cheers. I see a good oh my gosh, the cheese gives it a lot of like flavor. I love the sauce that you put inside and the pasta is really soft and it goes well with the sauce. Now I'm gonna try the shrimp. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like your hairstyle. Thank you. <laughs> That's the dinner hairstyle. Mm -hmm. The shrimp has a little bit of spice to it and the cheese adds more flavor to the shrimp. It's amazing. Okay, so 10 out of 10? 10? 10 out of 10. Okay, so eat your pasta and then we will come back for the seafood. Thank you. So check out my beautiful seafood boil. It, this is really smelling good. And I'm dipping out some for me here now. I have my plate here, but look how beautiful this is. We're gonna have a lot left over. So all the YouTube family, you have your share here. Let me show you my plate. This is my, I have, to, I have a lobster claw. I have some crab, shrimp, potato, and my corn. And let's go to the board 
birthday girl. So this is what the birthday girl have. She have crab, potato, shrimp. She have um, her lobster here. There's a little bit of the sauce and let me know what you think. Cheese, <laughs> my mini spoon. Mm, that's really good. It's spicy and I love spicy food. I know so that. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna go in for I'm next? Go in for I know you wanna take that's your the time. Biggest, um, thing. Okay. That, yeah, that's really good with the sauce. Makes it taste so delicious. And the lobster is really soft and amazing. I just love it so much. Cool, good. Yeah. Okay, so you got all your favorites today? Yes. And do you have room for cake next? <laughs> Maybe. <Yes. laughs> so we still have cake, guys. We're going to go in now, and this takes a lot of time. I'm gonna go in with my fingers. I don't know about you, Jess. And I will break I those crab and enjoy mine. Stay tuned for cake. And today we are having cake for the birthday, believe it or not. Yesterday, after we finished with that big dinner, we did not have room for the cake. So today we're having cake. So Jessica is celebrating day number two. So let me light the candles and she picked this cake what cake did you pick it's strawberry and cream strawberry and cream cake so let me light it happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear jessica happy birthday to you i'm not gonna ask how old she's one year old 14. <laughs> How old are you today? 14. 14 years. It seems like only yesterday, right, Dad? Wow, time is really flying. So let's get to the cake because we didn't get to cut this cake yesterday. And I wanted us to really enjoy it. So Dad is lighting up the candle. Make her wish. So just make your wish. And she's thinking, thinking. Wow! So Jessica says she's gonna cut her own cake. So cut the cake, Jess. Put a piece in there. I don't know how big? Um, a, a nice piece. size for everybody, not too big because you know we're going out now, right? Mm -hmm. And look at that. Jessie is so big now that she can cut her own birthday cake. Let me get spoons for you guys. And she did perfectly well. Look at this perfect slice. Dad is getting to give her the first bite. Happy birthday, Jess. Thank you. Actually. So, wow, look how big piece. Birthday. Okay, let me help you. Ah. Happy big birthday, brother. Jessica. Thanks. Big brother and big sister. That's a big piece. So it looks like by the time we finish, we're gonna feed you the entire cake. Happy birthday, Jess. We want you to know that we love you so, so much. We wish you all the best, a bright future. We wish that you accomplish everything your heart desire. And we wish you nothing else but love, great success, and a bright, bright future. You're an amazing person and keep being who you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you all so, so much for coming along with us on Jesse's birthday. You guys know every day is a celebration for us, but today it was a little bit extra special because Jesse turned 14 and we like to remind them how much we love and care for them. So thank you all. Once again, if you were celebrating a birthday or an anniversary, we wish you a happy, happy one. Take care. God bless. Catch you guys in our next video.